Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the channel where you join me at the Bugatti stand at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. Now, center stage behind me is the most anticipated car of this year's show. It's a tribute to the legendary Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic and the most expensive new car in the world. We're about to see the world premiere. The cover's being pulled back for the very first time ever, and then we'll be able to take a first proper look. So let's check this out. Before the car is revealed, very little is known about it. Bugatti have been incredibly tight-lipped. All we can see is an elongated chassis when compared to the likes of the Devo behind. We'll take a look at that later as well. The centre line that they're clearly emphasising down to the horseshoe grille at the front. But very soon it will be the world premiere and that cover will be removed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geneva and welcome to Bugatti. And spinning in front of us, the brand new Bugatti La Voiture Noire. It was revealed by Stefan Winkelmann, but this is a car that pays tribute to the legendary missing Bugatti Atlantic. So going way back, Jean Bugatti, son of Ettore Bugatti, was the designer of the Atlantic, his favourite of all time. Three of the four that were built survive to this day. The fourth, on its way in the wartime going to Bordeaux, went missing and has never been found. This is now the reincarnation you could say of La Voiture Noire, an ultimate grand tourer and as it's spinning around in front of us look at the proportions of this car long low and sleek that tail light though as it's spinning to the back have a look at this so it's powered by the quad turbo 8 litre w16 with one and a half thousand horsepower 1600 newton meters but look at this look at the way the roof line swoops down towards that rear you have the shaped tail light running the full width and more and then down at the very base, six exhaust tailpipes. Tribute there to the W16 engine that's inside this car. But basically, it's a reincarnation, an extended chassis, a new look, a new shape, a new windscreen, effectively a new car, but a special project, a one-off that Bugatti have created. And it is beauty. The wheels, not necessarily my favorite. The way they're painted onto the tires as well. No doubt, very, very big brakes for the stopping power that the car will need. Painted in black under the the lights hard to see some of the details from here but we will head onto the stage and have an up close look at this very shortly as well you can see some of the distinct styling cues that center line that's become a big thing across Bugatti's running the full length of the car going up over the bonnet across the roof line towards the rear wing but down here at the front it takes the styling of the Devo and dials even that up a further notch with the aggression still with that horseshoe grille proud in the very center a lot of openings for the cooling and airflow that can go through the car new head Headlights and new design. In fact, everything is new for this. And just look at this car. Look at the proportions. Look at the shape. That elongated front end, very, very clear, leading forwards towards the nose from the windscreen section. Much reminiscent of the styling penned by the Bugatti design team to pay tribute back to that car. One of the most valuable classic cars in the entire world, in fact, the Bugatti SC Atlantic. Really, well, if one were to sell in today's market, it could be hundreds of millions of dollars or euros or pounds. You name your currency. It is that level of vehicle and really such an iconic and special part of Bugatti's history that they're now paying tribute to with the launch of this, their first one-off project following the success of the Devo not all that long ago, launched at Pebble Beach, sold for 5 million euros, all of which sold out instantly. This, as soon as they suggested the idea of creating the car, a customer came forward immediately to jump at the opportunity to purchase this. And can you blame them? Look at this. Look at the styling look at the design look at it up a little bit closer that diffuser the aggression the size of it but how low it is to that rear edge that leading edge how sleek it is over the entire lines trailing over the car towards the front as you can hear though it's busy here press conferences running left right 
and centre. In a moment, we'll head onto the stage though and take a better look at this. Here it is then. Let's come and have a slightly closer look at La Voiture Noire. Literally the translation from French, the black car, as that old missing 57 Atlantic was named. When you get up closer to this though, it is menacing, it is aggressive, but most of all, you just notice how under the lights here, it is completely stealthy with everything finished black. I still can't quite get over down there the six exhaust tailpipes, but also the length of that diffuser that carries right under with those fins that you can see popping down beneath it and almost the kind of tunnel effect going over. But the design matching up with that, lots of open area for the cooling, the illuminated Bugatti text across the rear underneath that tail light. Look at that, look at the design of that tail light. That's magnificent. On the side you have the fuel and oil filler caps, quite prominent in their design with the chrome feature, pretty much one of the only chrome features on the actual car outside of the wheels uh, and the indicator I suppose that you have on the door mirror. Look at the rake of the windscreen. Look at how shallow that angle is, how aggressive that is with the single wiper again in the center lining up with that center line the full length of the car. But even on the bonnet section itself you have those deeper uh, almost cutouts. But look at the texture that you have beneath them that's made in the body panel. Presumably the car will be entirely made from carbon fiber as other Bugattis. The horseshoe grille itself is wider, it's more angular, more prominent, more presence, extra cooling that you can see just inside the sides there, also directional vanes going around those front corners to direct airflow actually around the car. Design has to meet engineering, has to meet performance. Bugatti's of course known for their ultimate speed and comfort while driving at speed. This though is no doubt going to take that and be even more positioned as a Grand Tourer where the Devo for example went more towards the aggressive end. The wheels look very large, the gaps in the arches look tiny, it's sitting low, it's sitting just in such a beautiful way. Its presence and its stance is absolutely out of this world. The rear deck hiding away that W16. Of course, traditionally the Chiron, as we'll see very shortly, has a more open section where you can see a little bit more of what's happening at the back. But for aerodynamics, for airflow, for smoothness, but also to match the design of the Atlantic, everything is very much flowing, smooth, minimalistic lines. There are no lines where they aren't required pretty much anywhere on the entirety of this car. And actually, I can see looking a little bit closer that the entire bodywork is actually exposed carbon fiber. I hadn't spotted that before. I thought it was gloss black paint, um, but you can see that it is carbon uh, that you have for the black panels, the black painted panels, looking very, very nice under the showroom style lights here at the Geneva Motor Show. That illuminated strip, though, the chrome strip that runs all around the car, just wow, just absolutely wow. And as I said, it's a project they commissioned, they wanted to start building, and they found a customer almost instantly. And are you surprised when you look at this? Is it surprising that a customer came straight forward, even considering the price tag, 16.7 million euros. This, of course, is a model, it's not the final car, so it doesn't have an interior that we can explore. But Bugatti are famed for their comforts, for the luxuries of their interior too. So no doubt that is going to be very, very special. But I am just, well, in awe, taking this in as it spins around on the stand in front of us here straight after the covers are pulled off for the very first time and it is launched on the show floor of the 2019 Geneva International Motor Show. What a car and what an opportunity to see it here first. Let's explore further here on the Bugatti stand, a substantially larger stand than in previous years where we also have the Bugatti Devo and over on the other side behind the crowd the Chiron Sport 110 years of Bugatti anniversary car. But to focus on this, the launch specification of the Devo the car that I had a first look at when it was presented at Pebble Beach last summer out in California. They're only building 40 of these in total at a cost of 5 million euros net of taxes as well. But you can get a sense of this car's purpose just by looking at it. It's based on the Chiron. So we have the 8 litre quad turbo W16, 1500 horsepower, 1600 newton meters. Those ginormous numbers, but with entirely new bodywork. All carbon fiber, but radical aggressive design. And some of the cues of this you can also see carrying through into La Voiture Noire. You still have that center stripe. In this case, you have the shark fin style running over the engine bay towards the rear. Down here at the back, some exposed carbon fiber, the blue, traditional blue colors of Bugatti. Take a look at those tail lights. Look at that, absolutely incredible. Down at the diffuser, large dual-sided diffuser surrounding that new exhaust tailpipe style there in the middle as well. And coming through, just to show you a bit of the interior of this car, it's different from left side to right side to really give it a focus on the driver the dynamics of the driver and it won't be a surprise to you to hear that they sold out all 40 of these before the car was even shown for the very first time around at the front a distinct headlamp just in front of those fender louvres and then coming down towards the front grille this you can spot is the same 
uh, accentuated width that we've seen on La Voiture Noire, the new car as well, and again the aggressive styling, the sharper, more angular edges and shapes. But this is where you can see how the new car has a much, much, much more elongated front end through the use of an extended chassis and also a raked windscreen that on this is more familiar from the Chiron uh, and the general shapes that we saw on the Bugatti Veyron that came before that. Over on this side we have the Bugatti Chiron Sport, Sondi Son Bugatti, 110 years of Bugatti since the company was founded by a Torre Bugatti back in 1909. But what a way to celebrate their 110th anniversary with this show stand, with the release of La Voiture Noire and here 20 units to be built of this specific car in this design. And there are a few very unique and very special elements to this car, namely the colour, the style, the way the optics are created. So the front sections of the car are in exposed satin carbon fibre, the rear sections in satin paintwork, but they create the exact same effect, which is actually quite hard to achieve. You can see, standing side by side here to see the differences, to get that exact match is no easy task. Now as well as that, there are a lot of unique elements to this car that pay tribute to the company's history, the French connections. So for example, here on the underside of the rear wing, you can see the French tricolor, the flag, the blue, white and red. There are a few more touches that mimic that as we explore around the car. For example, the fuel and oil filler caps. Inside the car, you have a center stripe that runs up and down the backrest, as well as the special embroidery, the enamel emblem uh, medallion that you can see in the center console as well, and also the striping found on the door mirrors. But it's based on the Chiron Sport. The standard Chiron would be two, uh, 2.5 million euros net. The Chiron Sport is 2.65 million euros net. This car is 3 million euros net. Before that, you get the complete specification you see here, including the sky view roof, the two glass panels for the roof, which is a nice touch that was added following the release of the Bugatti Chiron originally. And inside, all the French racing blue accents and highlights that you can see throughout, the brake calipers on the lighter wheels of the Chiron Sport itself, the carbon mirror arms, a number of touches and upgrades that were made. But what a lineup this is on this stand. With the 110 years of Bugatti, the Devo, La Voiture Noire, it's hard really to know where to actually look. But being a fan of model cars, just take a quick look at some of these amalgam models on display here as well. That is the car to which the new one we're looking at today pays tribute. That's a model of the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, the elegance of it, and you can see how it has that very sweeping style to it, the center line, the distinct center line that runs all the way over, and how that's carried through to the new car. We're also surrounded by a number of other significant models from Bugatti's history, the EV110, the Chiron, and the Vision at Gran Turismo, one of my personal favorites. Another car they only made one of, introduced to be part of the Gran Turismo gaming franchise, but absolutely incredible to be able to see these together here inside the window to get a view of what the Bugatti lineup looks like and an engine behind as well for good measure. To bring things to a close though, let's come back to take another look at La Voiture Noire, just to take in this car, most likely the star of the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, both in terms of its value, its exclusivity, its design work, what it represents, and how it brings so much of that Bugatti, I suppose, tradition and history into the modern day in a vehicle that carries a price tag of 16.7 million euros. It's almost impossible to comprehend the value of the final version of this car. That, as a number, the world's most expensive car literally and you guys have just seen it presented here and taken a first ever look at the Bugatti La Voiture Noire. I had an inkling that, that might be the name, that might be the history. They did an amazing teaser campaign building back some of the history of the Type 57. Of course it was very sad that back in 1939 Jean Bugatti sadly passed away in an accident in a race car of the Type 57. What a way to tribute so much of that history with the release of this one custom Customer out there is a very very lucky individual indeed this is going to be a spectacular thing and what a project it must be to work on as well with Bugatti to create the vehicle to be part of that and to own such an important piece of automotive history like it or not this is a very very special car and to be honest I love what it represents and how it looks anyway I'm going to leave it for there thank you very much for watching and joining me here with Bugatti at the 2019 at Geneva Motor Show I hope you've enjoyed this first ever look at the brand new car there'll be plenty more to come though from this amazing show so make sure to be subscribed and stay tuned that's it for now though guys i'll see you again very soon cheers